It wasn't the outcome that Wildcats fans wanted, but despite the loss, the party is still continuing here in Tucson as Arizona fans and students celebrating what's been a historic season for the women's basketball team. Heading into the national championship game, Arizona fans were confident. Got a score prediction for tonight? Uh, a lot to a little in Arizona's favor. Very confident. I don't even know why we have to watch. I should just get a notification on my phone from ESPN. Arizona national champion. That confidence and school spirit never went away, even with the Wildcats playing from behind for most of the game. This is huge for the campus culture. I mean, it's been pretty rough the last year, and I'm really happy, especially now while this is going on, that we really can all be here and celebrate and cheer on U of A. Down just three points after the third quarter, it was time to go big heading down the home stretch. Oh, I was very nervous. And how did it feel that once you realized it was happening? Oh gosh, I was like such in shock. Like I'm still in shock, like I'm shaking. And the Cats almost did it, coming up just one shot short. But one missed shot doesn't define this team. And it certainly doesn't define this experience for the fans. It was a great time. Like, just getting to see us even make it here. Like, we're a three seed. We're not supposed to be here. Even though it didn't turn out how we wanted, I think in school history, that's, that's a pretty big accomplishment. And I think everyone was able to see that. This season doesn't count for NCAA athletes eligibility-wise, so hypothetically, anybody could return next year, but no matter who does, the future is definitely bright for Coach Barnes' program. In Tucson, Ellie Polikoff, Arizona's family.